Well, Sydney is enjoying the evening away from our studio. She's live at Zirka Park for the first day of Austin's second largest city event, the Trail of Lights, and a gorgeous day there. And Sydney, 400,000 people visit there every year celebrating the holiday season. And how's it going to look tonight? Hopefully it will be darker by the time it starts, Robert. It doesn't really look like the trail of lights right now. It just kind of looks like a trail because it's very sunny out here. Beautiful day. As it gets closer to dark, we're going to help start the 54th annual trail of lights. Tonight is the grand opening. KXA is a proud sponsor. We're happy to help them kick it off. You know, the trail of lights is in the running for one of the best light displays in the country on USA Today's website. Voting for that wrapped up today. We'll have to wait a little while to find out if we made the top, but trail of lights is certainly in the hearts of all Austinites, 60 displays, 2 million lights. It's going to be bigger and better this year. We're going to touch on some of the new additions and experiences that you can expect coming up in just a little bit. But for right now, I'll toss it back to you, Robert. You know what? It is so beautiful out here today. We're just a few hours away from the grand opening of the 54th annual Trail of Lights. And if you've been to the trail before, you know it's so much more than just the lights. There's music and there's food. I'm joined right now by Veronica. You are in charge of hospitality. Yeah. So a lot of the extra things that go on. What did you guys start setting up for Trail of Lights this year? Well, we actually started moving into the park right after ACL. So we've been here for quite a while, but you can imagine there's so much to set up. And we have so much new stuff this year that we're setting up. So we've got a holiday market. So we have a lot of cool artisan vendors that are here, a s'mores pit. We also have a, hu a new Live at the Trail. So like music is a huge component of this. So you want to go online and look every night and see who's playing. Um, and we've got a ton of new um, activations. Or what, what do you call them? Like uh, displays. displays. I was yeah. like, what do you call it? Yeah. <laughs> so we have a bunch of new displays. So if you've never been out or you've been out here every year, you want to come and check out all the new stuff as well. And so have you had a chance to see it? I know you guys have been lighting up a few nights ahead of time yeah. and you had a, an event on Saturday night. What do you think of the displays this year? What's your take on it? Yeah, well, first of all, it's kind of funny because this is my first year working at the Trail of Lights and I hadn't been to the Trail of Lights in a while mm -hmm. and I just love it. I mean, it's so magical when you come out here. Like if you want to get into the holiday spirit, you just love it. You got to come out here. I mean, it's just such a huge tradition in the city. And especially if you have kids, I mean, you just see all the kids walking around and seeing all the great things. We've got Ferris wheel rides, um, just a lot of places where they can just get candy and get free books from HEB. I mean, there's just so many things that they can do and have a really good time. Veronica, thank you so much. Trail of Lights runs from now until the 23rd. There are about half of those nights that are free. So keep that in mind. And kids under 12 are always free. We're going to check back in with you guys in about an hour or so and let you know how things are looking. Trail of Lights will open its gates tonight at Zoker Park. Here's a live look from our Estonian weather camera. Sydney is emceeing the big event tonight. She's live with a look at what you can expect at this year's event. Sydney. Robert, I wish you could be here to help me bring in the Christmas season at the Trail of Lights. This is the 54th year. I'm trying to get into the holiday spirit with my friend Santa Suarez. This is one of 60 displays you'll see if you come out to this year's Trail of Lights. They have new and different things every year. This year they have guitars to sort of pay homage to Austin's music scene. There's going to be a 13 foot tall carriage, 20 foot tall spiral tree. Tickets for most nights are $3. You can also come for free, though, on many of those nights. Tonight, admission is free and open to the public. Kids under 12 always get in free. Parking can be kind of tricky, so if you park at one of the shuttle locations, there are two of them. You can take a shuttle here, and then that gets you into the park for free. If you buy your tickets ahead of time, that's probably the way to go. You can avoid a lot of the long lines uh, at the beginning of the Trail of Lights. There's new and different things every year. We're already smelling the smell of funnel cakes in the air. I can't wait to help kick things off in just a little bit. Uh, if you'll recall, though, last year we had so much rain, an unprecedented amount of days that the trail had to be closed. I think it was four days uh, prior to that. It had only closed for one day because of the weather. I was really encouraged, though, today to see sunshine. Everything looks good. It's not too much. So we're hopeful that this year we can have all 14 days of the Trail of Lights. Rich and Robert, back to you.